When I was very young, it became apparent that I had a lot of speech and language issues. I would hear one thing, but my brain couldn't process the words in the right order. The way it was explained to me was that your brain is like a filing cabinet with all the files put from A to Z. Unfortunately, what my brain was doing was, for example, taking a file beginning with R and filing it under L. This might not seem a big deal, but when I try to find the file beginning with R, it's not there. I know it has to be somewhere, but it means I have to go through all the files before I can find it. As a result, I'm much slower at understanding the whole world around me. Up to the age of 12, friends didn't really notice that much, and I worked really hard at my speech and language to try and keep up. I joined the local GA club when I was 7. It gave me a chance to escape from letters and numbers. You didn't have to be clever or have your hand up first or understand how to calculate 25% of 100. You just played. When I got older, it became obvious to all my friends that I had language problems. And things started to change. I became much more aware that I was different and as a result, felt more isolated. I stopped joining in in all conversations because I knew I wasn't catching all the details. And if I made a comment, it was ignored. Instead of going out with my friends, I started going to the hurling wall and practicing on my own. The great advantage of this was I got better at playing and understanding the game. But the disadvantage of this was I was on my own. My parents began to cop on that I was unhappy. So my mom sat me down and we talked. She explained to me that I was just as good and just as equal as everybody else. Everyone has his or her special talents in life. Whether it's intelligence or sporty or creative, it's all valuable. The person who got 600 points in his leaving cert couldn't score a goal in 10 points like Henry Sheffield or the computer whiz kid couldn't write a song like Phil Lennon. My mom asked me a question once. Who would you miss most if they went on strike? The NASA rocket scientist or the man who collects your bins? So the best advice I was ever given was that regardless of my talents or my shortcomings, that I am as good as anyone else. It's the extra bit of kindness or compassion that makes us a little bit better. My name is Cal Reddy and this is my story.